Okay, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to sketch the graph of irrational functions. Okay, and in this lesson, we have two learning objectives. Number one, sketch the graph of a rational function. And number two, apply the rules in sketching the graph of a rational functions. The basic way to sketch the graph of an equation or rational function is to determine the points that lie on the given line or curves. And after that, we're going to plot and connect the points. But sometimes, plotting of points will not guarantee an accuracy of the graph. No. Therefore, we should consider some key points and steps in sketching the graph of a rational function. Okay? And in this video, I'm going to show you the eight steps in sketching the graph of a rational function. Here are the steps we have. Uh, if we have a rational function in the form of f of x equals n of x over d of x, n of x is a polynomial and d of x is a polynomial also. So step number one says we're going to determine or find the y-intercept, then plot the points. Okay? If there is any, okay, how are we going to determine the y-intercept? We evaluate f of 0. So if we have in, we substitute to the rational function uh, to x equal to 0. That is how to determine the y-intercept of a rational function. Okay. Next is, we find the x-intercept, then plot the points, if there's any. Okay. How are we going to determine the x-intercept? We solve the equation n of x equals 0. So, we have in, yung ating polynomial function on top of our rational function will be equated to 0. Then, we solve uh, the value of y. Okay, or f of x. Okay. But, but hindi natin kinakonsider yung denominator of the rational function. Actually, we're solving for f of x equals 0, meaning y equals 0, to solve for the x-intercept. Kasi if we let f of x equal to 0, we cross-multiply d of x, the result is 0. Therefore, ang matitira na lamang sa ating rational function is n of x, which is the numerator of our rational function. So, therefore, n of x will be equal to 0. Okay? Kasi magiging 0 na yung product of d of x and 0. Because in solving for the x-intercept, we let y equal to 0. Okay? We have the third step. We find the vertical asymptote, then draw it using a broken line. How to determine the vertical asymptote? Simple. We let d of x equal 0. And we solve the values of x. Value or values of x. That is the restriction on the denominator of the rational function. Okay? Pero kung hindi siya factored form, we need to factor the denominator and equate that to 0 to solve for the value or values of x. Number 4, we find the horizontal asymptotes. How are we going to do that? Based from our previous videos, we apply the rule in determining the horizontal asymptote. We have three rules. Uh, review natin. One, kapag ang degree of the numerator is greater as less than the degree of the denominator of the rational function, y equals zero is the horizontal asymptote. Okay? Number two, if they have the same degree or equal degree, the line y equals a sub n over b sub n is the horizontal asymptote, where a sub n and b sub n are both the leading coefficients on the numerator and denominator of the rational functions. Okay. Number three, if it so happens that the degree on n of x or the numerator is greater than the degree of d of x, then the graph of the function has no horizontal asymptote. So, pag mas malaki yung degree on top to the degree on the denominator of the rational function, uh, there is no horizontal asymptote. Okay? Probably, there is a slant asymptote. Okay? So, that is the fourth step. Next is the fifth step. If there is no horizontal asymptote, then find the horizontal asymptote if it exists. 
So, kapag walang horizontal asymptote, we determine the horizontal asymptote. How are we going to do that? Let us verify first if the degree on top of the rational function is one more than the degree of d of x. So, ibig sabihin, let's say that the degree on top is 3, while the degree at the bottom of the rational function is 2. Therefore, there is a horizontal asymptote. Okay? Kapag mas mataas lang ng isang degree, yung polynomial on top, this is a polynomial in the denominator of the rational function. So, how are we going to determine the horizontal asymptote? We're just going to divide n of x by d of x. You're saying it, it, should, it will be written in the form of quotient plus remainder of our divisor. Ibig sabihin, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator uh, using the longhand method of division. Okay? Okay, apply the rule in determining the slant asymptote, meaning um, n of x over d of x will be written in the form of mx plus b plus remainder over divisor. Remember, mx plus b is actually the quotient. Okay? The quotient of n of x and d of x and this is in the form of quotient plus remainder of the divisor m of x plus b is the slant asymptote of the rational function the sixth step is find additional points in the graph of the functions between and beyond the vertical asymptotes meaning we're going to assign values to x and we solve for the value or values of y something like a tabular values of the ordered pairs x and y okay? and then we connect the points between the vertical asymptotes and connect the points beyond vertical asymptotes so yung mga nakuha natin sa 6 na tabular values of x and y co-connect na natin okay? and lastly we're going to determine or find the domain and range of the given functions okay? so those are the eight steps in sketching the graph of a rational function. I'm going to give you three examples for uh, in sketching the graph of rational functions. I'm going to give you three or maybe four rational functions na sketch natin graph So thank you.